Are you finding yourself going around and around and around from one tutorial to another tutorial to another Udemy course to another tutorial, always constantly moving from one tutorial to another, but never really feeling like you're actually making progress in your growth as a junior developer? Well, I hate to break the news to you, but more than likely all of those tutorials you're doing are actually killing your growth as a junior developer. In this video, I want to talk about why that is and how you can actually make better use or the best use of those tutorials as you're watching them and as you're working with them. Don't forget, if you have a question that you'd like to ask or a topic that you'd like me to cover in an upcoming video, leave a comment below or head over to devmentordave.com and fill out the Ask Dave form. Hey Junior Devs, Dev Mentor Dave here helping you bridge the gap from learning to code to launching a successful career. Now there are thousands and thousands of tutorials online for almost anything that you want to learn, not just how to write code, but anything from learning how to talk well to learning how to fix a car. I even have a t-shirt that says certified YouTube mechanic because that's where I go when I need to find uh, out how to fix my car, right? So there's lots of different ways that you can get information, that you can be taught how to do things. And, and we see a lot of times these tutorials, either on YouTube or a paid subscription like Udemy or something like that. And a lot of junior developers can get caught up in this never-ending cycle of, of watching and, and, and copying these tutorials. And it really actually ends up hurting them in the long run because they spend a lot of time not really focusing on the things that are going to help them. So let me explain why, in my opinion, tutorials can be a good thing, but in excess, they really can stunt your growth as a junior developer. The first thing to remember is that a tutorial is teaching you information. It's not really teaching you a skill. It's teaching you about something. It's teaching you uh, about a language or it's teaching you about a framework or about a tool. It's teaching you about things. It's not necessarily teaching you how to actually put that into action, how to use this. Now, do they have examples? Absolutely. I'm not saying that they don't do anything for you in that department, but really what they're trying to do is help you understand something. They're, they're using the examples so that you understand a concept, or that you understand um, what a language does or what a tool does. They're not really there to help you build your skill set using that tool. Because of this, you get through some of these tutorials and you've, and you've learned a lot of information and it's very easy, but just like any information, you end up forgetting it over time. See, the difference between learning information and learning skills is that skills will stick with you. You're going to remember how to ride a bike years down the road, even when you can't actually still physically ride a bike. You're going to still remember how to ride a bike if you learned that skill. But just because you memorized all the presidents in order doesn't mean that 30 years from now you're going to remember all those presidents. And unfortunately, that's what most tutorials really are. They're there teaching you information. They're not taking you through the ropes and, and forcing you to actually put this into real action. And the little ways that they do have you put into action are very, very simple. Most junior developers spend a lot of time following a video tutorial and typing out exactly everything that they're doing so that they follow along and that they're, they're doing it. And they think that that's helping them build a skill set really all you're doing is just copying what somebody else has already done. They've given you the answer key and you're just kind of filling in the circles on the test. That doesn't mean you've actually learned how to use that language or how to use that tool or how to use that framework the way that you need to in order to actually do the job. But that doesn't mean that tutorials are all bad. In fact, I have found them to be very helpful for myself even as a senior developer. The key is learning how to use tutorials in a way that's going to help you progress your career and not just keep you in a constant cycle of taking tutorials and sometimes taking tutorials over and over and over again because you just don't feel like you really got it. Hey, if you find this information helpful, could you hit the like button for me? It helps me get this information to more people and hopefully help them on their journey to a successful career as well. So what's the best way I know of to use tutorials to actually help you be successful as a junior developer? The first key is listen to an explanation and then try to do what they're telling you to do before you see them do it. 
good tutorials will actually explain what they want to teach you before they show you how to do it. So what you need to do is listen to the explanation, try to understand what they're talking about, and then hit the pause button before they show you how to actually use that in a real world example. And then go over to your code editor and actually try to do it yourself. What this does is prove to you whether or not you really understood everything that you just listened to. Because if you can listen to something and then you can take the time and think through it and understand how am I gonna put this into action in the real world in real code that is a huge boost to your success it's a huge boost to your confidence to be able to then hit the play button and see that they did the same thing that you just did another thing you can do to make tutorials successful for you is to not do the example that they give instead do something completely different again we don't want to just copy what the person teaching us is doing because we're not actually really putting it into use. It's not something that we've thought through. We're just following along somebody else in their process. We want to take the time to think through how would we actually use this information in the real world. So don't just try to create what they're going to create. Don't just try to implement it the way they implement it. Think about it. How would I implement this in a different situation, in a different scenario? And then write out code to do that. This is going to help you run into problems. It's going to help you try to figure out whether or not you understood what was going on. And then as you look at what they did, it may help you see the errors that you have in your scenario. See, the goal of a tutorial is not just to give you information. The goal is for you to take that information and put it into real practice doing real things. And that means you're going to have to avoid some of the easy examples that they give and try to find something difficult. Try to find a problem that you can solve with what you're learning from that tutorial. Okay, the last thing that you can do to make a tutorial successful for you remember that tutorials are just the beginning, it's just a first step. A lot of junior developers get into trouble because they go through a whole tutorial or a set of tutorials and they think they're done. You need to understand that it's just the beginning of you learning and implementing this and that there's a whole other world of information found in documentation. Once you've got the basics of a, of a language or of a program, of an application, of a framework, whatever it is that you're learning in your, in your tutorial, once you've kind of got that basis and you understand the terminology and the different things that are kind of involved, then you'll find lots of other things that you can do with this that you never would have learned if you just stopped after the tutorial. So tutorials can be really helpful if you use them the right way. But if you don't, they're probably going to kill your success rather than grow your success. Thanks for joining me. And if you'd like to get more mentoring advice, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified each time I upload a new video. Hopefully this video has been a help to you on your journey as a junior developer. Thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.